Hello. Now we will see how to make a delay calculation using 8051 microcontroller. So the delay is required for most of our interfacing experiment to generate milliseconds or seconds delay. So in assembly language program, when we are writing a delay, we can use two methods. One is using the instruction delay, another using timer programming. So using instruction delay, a set of the program is made to execute to generate a required delay, or we can also turn on a timer to produce the delay by loading the timer register values, and that will actually increment uh, till the overflow occurs. So these are the two methods that we use in 8051 to generate delay. Now let's see how we can calculate a delay using the instruction. Now I'm going to write a delay program. Now just imagine this is a routine delay that I'm writing using an assembly language program. So we need to load a register, let's say R1, with the value, uh, assume it is FFH is loaded, and uh, another register is loaded, the value R2 hash FFH and uh, we need to decrement one of the count D, J and Z R2 loop 1 so the loop 1 is here and another loop is given. So once this loop complete, we will decrement the another register, which is R1, and we will reload the register R2 again. So loop two comes over here. So, and here the code ends. So this may be a written instruction for the function delay. So this is how the instruction set used to generate a nested looping. So here if you see this register, this register is used as one of the counter R1, another register used as another counter R2. Now initially the inner loop which is actually R2, which is executed so many times. And after the completion of that, the second loop continues and that will reload the first register, decrement the second register R1 and reload the R2 and so on. This complete, this continues. So here you see the same program is written. R0 is loaded with 0FF, R1 is loaded with again FF, now we are we are recurating this R, decrementing this R1 FF time, and once that loop completes, the R0 is decremented by once, and this R1 will be reloaded again and again. So how to calculate the delay for this? See, as you can see, for this calculation, we need to know what is the machine cycle. So what is the machine cycle? Machine cycles are something which are, say, always move instruction, take one machine cycle, and uh, move instruction here also take one machine cycle and uh, this dj and z here takes two machine cycle this takes two machine cycle and this also take dj and z take two machine cycle Hi. so these are the machine cycle information that we supposed to know so with this machine cycle information, if you see how exactly this are used. So when this delay executing here, you see total machine cycle executed. You see two into 255. How this comes two into 255 plus two plus one, so many times to 255, then plus one. So how this comes? Actually, this comes with the delay calculations See this one machine cycle move R naught comma hash FF. 
move R naught comma hash F F takes one machine cycle. So that one machine cycle comes. That's actually it's here. So this one machine cycle is over here. So two fifty five. So this one machine cycle is over here or not? So this is that one machine cycle plus one. See this never executed again and again only once. Now you see here D J N Z R one with repeat. This is the innermost loop that is actually written over here. This D J N Z instruction two machine cycle is so. Why this is two fifty five? Because the value loaded with the R one is. Two fifty. The value loaded in the R one is two fifty five. So this machine cycle R repeat one will be two into two fifty five times executed because the count is given as two fifty five. Then what is plus two? Plus two is this DJ answer. That is this. This is again plus two. Then what is this plus one? Plus one is here with this move instruction. So D J Z R not is plus two. Plus one is this. That will be executed this much time. Whatever the outer loop, no two fifty five. The the R not value that is two fifty five. That is executed so much. So if you if you sum it up, if you calculate the value, that will be around this much. So this is actually total machine cycles. So once you know what is a machine cycle with the clock cycle, I can find out what is the value of machine cycle. So one machine cycle takes actually twelve clock pulses. So for an eight zero five one, if the calculation is one hour eleven megahertz, this much will come. That is the time period. So twelve clock pulses is actually uh, it's this time is actually multiplied by the value twelve. So since we have twelve clock pulses, so now if you see here, this is multiplied over here. This is this value, which is one clock pulse value, is multiplied by twelve. So that is one point zero eight five microseconds. This is one machine cycle time. How many machine cycle we got here? You see here, this is a machine cycle information that we have got. So if you calculate that, you will get 0.142 second. So this is 0.142. So once this instruction completes, you get after this delay routine when it comes out of the return, you will be uh, we will the instruction has spent 0.142 seconds of the delay. So this is how any instruction in 8051 will be responsible for for producing the delay. So if you know the machine cycle, you can calculate. For example, if you want certain machine cycle, if you want to calculate some delay, then how to proceed? So what you do is you suppose to calculate first total number of machine cycle is required. So you use this formula here. So you need some delay here. You know, you don't know how much machine cycle required, but you want to get some time. Let's say we want to get a time of around one millisecond here. So if if you want to get a time of one machine cycle, so let's say we want to get here one millisecond. So one into ten to the power of minus three. So one into ten to the power of minus three is a time required. So we don't know this now, okay? We don't know this. How much required? So one point zero eight five is a known information. Where you will get this? This information comes from this here. So one point zero eight five. So you can get the new value for your. So once you, if we you know this, then you'll get a total machine cycle. So substitute this value over here. Total machine cycle required. Fix up one of the delay. So how do you fix up this? You fix it up. Two fifty five, and you can calculate this value. So accordingly, you can get the value of values loaded for these registers. So this is how the calculation for the machine cycle is done. Uh, the instruction, the counter for to be loaded for this register is done.
so by knowing a required time we calculate how many machine cycles required so use this formula here by knowing how the flow of this program is then find out the unknown count value for one of the registers so assume the inner count and x and find out the outer count value so this is how we can calculate a delay using 8051 instruction set uh, in the assembly language programming